Anthony Edwards has got a ton of comparisons to Michael Jordan. And we recently just did a video where we gave Ant Michael Jordan's career. And you guys seem to really like that video. So today we're giving Ant his favorite player of all time's career, Kevin Durant. So that means Ant's going to be teaming up with superstars like Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker. So he'll actually be on the team, you know, at the end of the video on the team that he actually just swept in real life. It is now him and Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City trying to put Oklahoma City on the map now the year is the 2009 2010 season the first two seasons nothing really happened i'm hoping something happens this season where at least we make the playoffs now the dates in the top left of the screen are always going to be correct it says 2009 2010 it is correct in the top right right now where it says like december 9th december 10th that is correct right now but it might not be correct for the whole video so the top left is going to be the correct one when you have to like import the exact rosters so we can give ant like kd's exact career with the exact teammates it sometimes messes up the dates and glitches up the dates due to 2k's like limited startup option features so yeah the top left is always going to be the day it's always going to be on that screen so you guys can know all right so lebron does win the mvp blake griffin winning the rookie of the year devin harris six man of the year chris came in dpoy and russell westbrook actually winning the most improved player award putting up 24.4 points per game and 8.7 assists let's see if ant made any of the all nba teams russell westbrook makes an all nba second team it does not look like ant is making an all nba team yet but the thunder did get the six seed in the um western conference let's check what ant did over the regular season he put up 20 23.8 points per game not a bad season at all now all right the suns are up 2-1 on us this is a best of seven series 2-2 two, two. we're able to bring it back let's check the box score ant with the 28 point game russ with 22 7 and 10 and obviously the suns team is the amari stoudemire steve nash suns they also got jason richardson on the team so we're definitely playing a really good squad phoenix takes game five so that is a crucial game because now the thunder got to play two elimination games in a row but it looks like they're not going to be phased by the first elimination game because it is on their home court so they did have the advantage here they blow out the phoenix suns let's check out the box score ant with 23 russ with 21 8 and 15 and they're able to force a game seven and they have brought the game back i don't know where ant is hopefully ant didn't fall out because if he did the oklahoma city thunder are gonna have to try and do this without him we're gonna check after this uh possession i'm gonna pause it Steve Nash driving on Westbrook. Westbrook, good defense, and Nash still hits it. That's a tough shot. Russ has 38 and 14. All right, hold on. Though. Let's check the uh, box score. Did Ant foul out? Anthony Edwards fouled out of the game. He has only had 16 points. I mean, that's not obviously bad at all. 16 points in 19 minutes. He fouled out in only 19 minutes. Ant was out there hacking. Five-point lead. We're going to watch his last possession. If the Thunder don't get a bucket here, this is definitely game. Russ down low on Steve Nash. Fade away. He hits it, gets it to go. So, I mean, there's still a chance. Not having Ant out there is tough, though, because there's no one on the floor really that can go create a shot besides Russell Westbrook I mean Andre Iguodala maybe but they're definitely gonna miss like the defensive presence of Ant and Ant's scoring ability as Westbrook's trying to get a stop on Steve Nash to keep them in this game Steve Nash going at Russell Westbrook Westbrook gets the stop they need to when they get the board pushing up the floor Iguodala fade away mid-range somehow gets it to go Thunder need a stop here bad there's not too many great three-point shooters on the floor right now for the Thunder so a three-point game it's obviously not a two possession game but it's just you know it's more of a tough comeback than getting that stop and only being down one now they can take the lead Russ thrown out of a double team Iguodala to Desmond I think that's Desmond Mason Mike Beasley shooting the three-pointer and he misses. I don't know if we want Beasley taking that shot and that's probably going to be the game. That's probably how Ant and Russ's season is going to end. That is. That's a tough way to end, but they're young. They got a huge, you know, they got a lot of future ahead of them. And taking that experienced Sun Team 7 game is definitely a good sign. Let's get to the next season. Let's just see who wins the championship really quick. The Grizzlies actually beat LeBron and the Cavs in the finals. I don't know how LeBron won finals MVP and they lost, but yeah, the Grizzlies somehow win the NBA finals. I, I would not have picked the Grizzlies out of this bracket to win the finals if i had to pick but all right something interesting now that happens with kevin Durant like not being the lineup and anthony edwards james harden actually does not start for them he's coming off the bench as the six man and they got russ at point guard ant at the two mo peterson at the three jeff green at the four and serge ibaka at the five so that's the lineup we're rocking with this season lebron took home the mvp once again this season but let's get to the um playoffs because wait till you see what seed the thunder got i'm just trying to see if ant got on all nba team russ on all nba second again and ant does not make an all nba team the oklahoma city thunder actually got the one seed in the western conference and almost averaged 30 points per game this season he put up 27.3 points per game he is playing up to a 95 overall russ is playing up to a 94 overall the team looks good going into the playoffs let's see if they can carry this momentum and make a playoff run currently a 2-2 series though in the first round with the t wolves we lose three games in a row we we're up 2-0 on the t wolves and then we dropped three games in a row let's hop in the sim cast now and check this out it would be a disappointing way to end the season if we go out as the 
one seed after winning 60 plus games and losing to an eight seeded Minnesota team. Up six, 33 seconds left. It looks like we're at least gonna force a game seven. We do. Ant with 27, seven, seven, and two. Russ with 18, five, and eight. And the team is moving on to a game seven on the OKC home floor. So we got through the toughest game. The toughest game was gonna be going to game six on the road in Minnesota. And now we get them on our home court for game seven and we're blowing them out. And we advance this second round and leading the team with 26 points. Russ with 22, three, 14, and three. And everyone really just doing their job to get the team the win. Got the Clippers next it is a 1-1 series right now. 2-1 OKC, 3-1 OKC. Can we close them out? Get the gentleman sweep. We can. Russ had a 37, nine and 17 game in game four. Ant had 29, nine and three. So the duo of Ant and Russ are playing out really well. I didn't know how it was going to play out since you know they're both two guards, but the duo of them are working out pretty well. But now they got to go play Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Thunder playing an experienced Lakers team, but it seems not to phase them so far as they're up 2-0 on the series. The Lakers take that game 2-1. Let's see what happens right here. 3-1. The Thunder have a chance to make the finals. And this is one year earlier than when KD did it with the Thunder, right? I thought they made it in the 2011-2012 season. Thunder did say game one, but the Heat come back and take the game. 2-1 now. Thunder. 3-1 Thunder. Can they win a ring already? Not looking good right now for them to be able to close it out. It looks like we're going to go to a game six or game four. Five, wait, or up four, one, wait, I'm, I'm bad at math. I don't even know, to be honest. Thunder up 3-2 with the chance to close them out. Let's not blow a 3-1 lead. Let's not do that. Not looking good. Five-point game, a minute 50 left. The Heat take a 10-point, like a, almost a 10-point lead late. Yeah, it's it's over for me. They're going to a game seven. So we might blow a 3-1 lead. Come on. We There's no way. There's no way we're about to get edged right now. There's no way we're making it to an NBA Finals. Going up 3-1 on LeBron and the Miami Heat, that super team. And then we're going to lose three games in a row. There's just no way wow yeah it's not looking good we're down four points 37 seconds left i mean there's really no point to hop in they're at the free throw line shooting free throws i was gonna say i saw a pause i saw it go to 103 100 but they came down and hit both free throws two three point game i mean it's, there's gonna be trading off free throws i think they might have just got the ball back though hold on last 19 seconds let's just hop in it's the finals right we got to see what happens it is the heat ball so they're just really preying on like one missed free throw that's all that's all they need just one missed free throw and they got a shot lebron going to the line i mean this is the guy i mean lebron is a great player you know one of the greatest of all time if not the greatest of all time but not gonna lie clutch free throws are usually not his strong suit let's see just miss one bron give us just give us a chance that's all we need is a chance he misses the first one. We got a chance. Hey, now, if you miss two, LeBron, I wouldn't even be mad at you. If you miss two, we would not be mad at you. You could miss two. Go ahead and miss this one. Go ahead and miss this one. Okay, he makes that one. That's all right. Look, all we needed was a chance. We got a chance now. All right, let's see if they go for the three here and who's going to take it. Is it going to be Russ or Ant? Or they might just go for a quick two, honestly. James Harden with the ball coming off the screen. It looks like they're going to go to Harden to shoot the three. No, they go down to Russ in the post. They're taking way too long if they're going to shoot a two-pointer right here. Russ get into the bucket, lays it in. I mean, I guess if you don't have an open three, taking a two, just staying in the game, extending it is good too because he might miss another free throw. They just missed one last time, so you never know. All right, come on, D-Wade. I know you want to miss one. Just make the game a little more interesting. Miss one. All right, he cashed the first one. He cashes the second one. All right, we do have a timeout. So we're going to get the ball advance. Six seconds. We got to get a good three-point look. Who's going to take it? Ant, Harden, or uh, Russell Westbrook? Who are you guys? If you're the coach, who are you drawing the play up for? Since it's a three-pointer, to be honest, I think I'm looking at Harden because he is the best three-point shooter out of all of them. Actually, I don't know. Ant, I feel like Cadet has more of that like killer instinct in the clutch to go get that bucket. But I'm either giving it to Ant or Harden. I'm not giving it to Russ. Russ, you know, Russ is a great player, just not a three-point shooter. Ant with the ball, though. We got it. What are we doing, Ant? out to peterson oh that was a good look okay that was a great look and peterson just smoked it and the thunder just blew a 3-1 lead peterson selling anthony edwards legacy not really though i mean we gotta win one of those games when we're up 3-1 but i mean that was an open look they got peterson an open look and he just smoked it lebron winning the finals mvp that's a tough way to lose in the finals that is a really tough way blowing a 3-1 lead lebron's just an expert at coming back from 3-1s and only had 20 points harden had 20 russ with 24 lebron had a 39 eight and seven game to close us out and yeah disappointing way to go into the offseason all right Ant and russ finally making an all nba team uh russ already made the all nba second team but this is ant's first all nba team all nba second team but hey it still counts let's check if they made any uh defensive teams i don't see them on here no they did not but the thunder do have the one seed once again in the western conference and they're up 3-0 on the sacramento kings 4-0 sweep the sacramento kings they either got the winner of dallas or san antonio so it's gonna be a tough series next series no matter what we got 
got Dallas. All right, it is 2-0, 3-0. Are they going to sweep the Dallas Mavericks? They sweep the Kings and the Dallas Mavericks. They're on a mission to get back to the finals. And somehow the Heat gets swept by the Atlanta Hawks. Josh Smith going for almost 40 points and 16 rebounds to close them out. So we're not going to face the Heat if we do make the NBA Finals, which is good because the Heat came back on us 3-1 last year. We do not want to face that team if Ant wants to get his first ring. I mean, not saying we can't beat him, but it's going to be, it would be really tough to beat him. We'd rather play someone else. We're up 3-1 right now on the Clippers 4-1 the Thunder make the finals only losing one game throughout the complete Western Conference playoffs Russ with 32 6 and 9 Ant with 29 5 and 5 in game 5 Ant had 40 in game 1 just checking to see if they had any really good games throughout this Clippers series we didn't check the box for every game so Russ had 42 and 9 Ant with 33 7 and 5 yeah this duo is really starting to come alive and then Harden coming off the bench is able to get buckets for him too but now the Bulls versus the Hawks game 6 the Hawks take it so the Thunder versus the Hawks the Hawks have been beating really good teams this whole playoff so let's see what the thunder can do we're not gonna i mean i'd see the hawks and i'd be like oh this might be an easier win but they've been being really good teams so you never know one one two one thunder three one thunder i think we're gonna do it i think this might be ant and russ's first ring together ant might be able to do something that katie was not able to do in oklahoma city win a ring but once again we are up three one and we just lost the game it is three two now let's not blow another three one lead all right we're live from game six the hawks are up one point with 55 seconds left let's try and avoid this game seven so we don't blow another 3-1 lead please oklahoma city please russ coming off the screen with jeff teague pulling up he's gonna miss johnson with the ball it looks like he's gonna slow it up because they don't have the numbers no they find jeff teague on the back cut jeff teague putting it in up three points now 38 seconds left don't if if, thun, if the thunder get to back-to-back -back finals and blow three to one leads back-to-back -back years that's gonna be awful that's just two rings left on the table for ant when it's said and done and with the ball, with the three to tie the game up, he misses. Zaza Pachulia grabbing the board. And now if they don't get an inbound steal here, they're going to have to keep following and they're most likely done. So yeah, they don't get the steal. We're going to hit Sim to end. Hopefully the Thunder can call, pull off a miracle so we don't have to watch a game seven. Was, they, they somehow pulled off a miracle. I don't know how that just happened. We hit Sim to end. It must have went to OT. Yeah, it went to overtime. 17 to 13 in overtime, the Thunder win. I have no clue how they just pulled that game off. Joe Johnson with a 36 point game for the Hawks. Anthony Edwards with 31, Russ or Ibaka with 31 and 14, Russ with 26 and 10, James Harden with 16, and the Thunder win their first ring as a group. I don't know how they just pulled that off. The Hawks were going to the line with uh down or up three points with like 22 seconds left. We try and extend it to a five point lead, and we somehow force overtime. And Ant winning his first finals MVP, almost 40 points per game throughout the finals, winning his first ring. Going into next season, a change to the roster. James Harden is now on the Houston Rockets and this is what the starting lineup is looking like Russ and Peja Stoakovich Shane Williams and um Serge Ibaka or is that Sean Williams I honestly don't have a clue Thabo Cephalosha coming off the bench Kendrick Perkins coming off the bench Brad Miller Walt Moore and yeah this is the team we're riding with for this season let's go try and two peat all right Russ making the all NBA first team this season and on the all NBA second team OKC with the two seed in the Western Conference LA Clippers took the uh, one seed this year we're playing the Golden State Warriors though we're up 3-0 on them Curry with 30 32 and 10 in game three ant with a 45 point game 12 boards and then russ with 34 and 18 this duo of russ and ant is absolutely nasty the stats these guys are putting up is actually crazy as they 4-1 the golden state warriors let's check what they did in the close out ant with 32 13 russ with 22 9 8 and 3 and now we got the winner of the kings versus the portland trailblazers we're getting the portland trailblazers we're up 2-0 on portland let's see what we did last game nothing too crazy there 3-1 series on portland can we take the next game we do we win in four or five games in both series is four ones both series is and now we're awaiting the winner of the clippers versus the memphis grizzlies let's see what happens the clippers get the w is chris paul on the clippers yet okay this is the lob city clippers chris paul blake griffin jamal crawford and deandre jordan's in the squad as well i just didn't see him in the box score he played 36 minutes he only scored two points though but we see the heat over there in the finals they're definitely one to get back into the finals if okc can win this series against the clippers that means they make the finals the past three seasons out of the west i mean that is really tough to do especially with all the young players they got on their team but it really helps when you got russ going for 44 and 9 and then ant for 40 12 and 6 and they're both getting two steals i mean this duo is absolutely nasty
nasty all right three two let's not blow another three one lead guys all right four two the los angeles clippers and we're moving on in the thunder's first finals appearance the miami heat did come back on the thunder three to one so you know the thunder want this series as they go up three one once again russ dropping 49 in game four and with 34 let's not have a repeat of this let's not let's not have a repeat of this three one blowing leads let's not do it all right we're up three one we kind of expected them to get this game to be honest lebron was not going to get three or four one by this team i don't think especially with this really good roster he has over here in miami but we were up three one so all we gotta do is win one game before lebron wins three more why are we getting blown out again there's no way we're going to another game seven if we blow two three one leads to Le lebron that is going to be absolutely crazy i mean they didn't play a bad game but i'm guessing yeah lebron chris bosh d wade they all did their thing and they just played really good defense to be honest they held the thunder under 100 points at 93 points and now we're going to a game seven and it's in miami 13 they're up 10 now the heat are coming back a little bit not really i mean nine point lead 12 point lead they're floating within that range and it looks like the thunder are going to close them out for a 2p they do they close them out for a 2p and their second ring let's see who wins the finals mvp russell westbrook went into this time 30 points per game and the duo of russ and ant are taking over the nba right now that is two rings in the past two seasons and next season they're gonna try and 3p okc is the one seed once again so this duo of russ and ant is really performing to like max potential i mean this this duo is better than kd and russ right now they've won two nba championships they made it to the nba finals what the past three four seasons we're up 3-0 on the golden state warriors 4-0 on the Golden State Warriors. I mean, they're just running through the Western Conference. Curry had 37 in game four. Ant, though, had 44, 9, and 8. And we got the Los Angeles Clippers once again. I mean, they're just winning games so easily. The Wizards are up 3-1 on the Heat. Is LeBron going to choke again and not make the finals? They bring it back to 3-3. 4-3 so the heat just came back from another 3-1 lead and we got another thunder versus heat matchup but the oklahoma city thunder are up 3-0 and and russ just cannot be stopped right now can we get the clean sweep we do not let's not blow a 3-0 lead okay 4-1 there we go anthony edwards winning his second finals mvp and his third nba championship already all right and westbrook actually wins his first mvp award putting up 34.3 points per game the oklahoma city thunder are fresh off a three peat trying to four peat i mean no one's really been able to beat them they've been absolutely dominating the nba the past three seasons all right okay see finding themselves in trouble for the first time they're down three to one to the houston rockets in the second round the chance of getting the four p is at stake i mean no one's ever four peated before in the modern nba but they do bring it back and are at least forcing one more game they gotta go in houston and win now this is going to be tough it looks like they are gonna pull off the win and force a game seven they are forcing a game seven i think it just said russell westbrook went for 60 westbrook just went for 60 points anthony edwards for 37 russ is only a 91 overall right now and just went for 60 points i don't know how russ is only a 91 he must have digressed a little bit i don't know how ant is a 94 right now he's putting up 37 points that game and put up 33.3 points per game throughout the playoffs so far i mean these guys are just unstoppable right now they're bringing it back all the way down from 3-1 i don't know if they weren't taking houston serious or what but they're at home now they're up 13 and a half it looks like they're gonna be able to pull this game out yeah they are going to be able to pull this game out 129 97 and i just saw edward scored 40 49 on that tweet in top left corner edwards went for 49 and 12 russ with 41 7 and 13 what a series they just brought it back all the way from 3 1 all right we're finding ourselves in a little bit more trouble now two down 3 1 again to the clippers can we bring it back again i mean thinking about it, though a prime russ and prime ant on the same team would be dangerous i mean the athleticism in that backcourt is absolutely ridiculous when uh game five or whatever that was yeah that's game five we know that yeah game five yeah this is game six right now we're going to game six right now and it looks like this is the game that's going to do it to okc and send them home i mean hey we were on a great run a three-year run three p and we get sent home in the western conference finals no one's ever four p and there's a reason it's really tough to four p and we go down to the clippers let's see who wins the finals the cleveland cavaliers win it lebron getting a ring and a finals mvp russ winning another mvp award and sadly because this is kevin durant's career anthony edwards is going to be leaving after the season so this is ant's last season in oklahoma city no matter if they win a ring or don't win a ring this is going to be his last year with with russ and the ant and russ duo is something that i didn't expect to be this good but they have been absolutely dominating the nba so it wouldn't make much sense for ant to leave but it is kevin durant's career so we got to give him kd's career so
so he's going to golden state next but as we were talking we were simulating and we are facing the two seed of utah jazz already in the western conference finals can we get the sweep no three one four one we're making it back to the finals now cleveland is playing miami lebron beating his old team four to two i just saw lebron eastern conference finals mvp russ western conference finals mvp and we got a thunder versus Cavs finals all right the Cavs take game one the Cavs take game two Cavs take game three are we about to get swept are we about to get swept is that how it's about to end no it's not ending in a sweep all right come on let's end on a ring let's end on a ring three one three two let's make it three three right here three three we force back a game seven and it is game seven on the Thunder's home court the Cavs have been up all game but it's been kind of close but the Cavs are starting to pull away and it looks like we're not gonna be able to come back from 3-0 LeBron and the Cavs take down this dynasty 28 points per game for LeBron winning the finals MVP I'm pretty sure he just dropped like 40 he had 37 points and 12 assists and then Kyrie had 30 and we don't get the storybook ending in OKC but off to Golden State Ant goes to try and form another dynasty all right so Ant is officially in Golden State and this is the starting lineup they're rocking with they're playing Ant and Clay both in the starting lineup they got Ant at the three Clay at the two Curry at the one Dre at the four and Zaza at the five and off the bench obviously everyone knows this Warriors team Iguodala Sean Livingston David West but yeah this team is gonna be insane I don't really see a team beating them in the finals Ant had three rings in OKC so if they go three for three on rings right now Ant has a chance he has a chance for six to seven maybe even eight career rings because the victory in Brooklyn might work out too you never know and maybe he can get one in Phoenix I mean he has a lot of years left to get to that six number that everyone tries and chases with Michael Jordan all right and Russ wins another MVP even with Ant not there so Russ is definitely going to be coming for Ant this season after he just left them out to dry in OKC especially after winning three rings with them all right Golden State getting the one seed in the Western Conference let's check how many points Ant averaged Ant averaged 28.7 points per game and Steph averaged 28.7 points per game so they just averaged the same amount of points is that a glitch no nah, I mean that's not a glitch they both averaged 28.7 points per game that is a that's a weird coincidence both averaging the exact same amount of points per game but we got Golden State or not Golden State we got the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round we 4 0 them and look who we're about to play we're playing Russell Westbrook Anthony Edwards old teammate and Russ takes game one putting up 41 11 and 11 let's see if Russ can get his get back on the Golden State Warriors he's up 2-1 right now Russ is playing really good Aladipo putting up 36 and 10 and then Russ putting up 32 Ant with 33 Steph with 32 but still not enough to get by the OKC Thunder that game 2-2 series the Warriors take it back Westbrook with a 48 point game 15 assists curry have 44 clay with 32 ant with 26 so the big three in golden state getting going and this is a crucial game right here whoever wins this most likely wins the series golden state takes it home let's see if they can close russ out russell westbrook and the thunder is not a team that you want to go to game seven with this game's been back and forth but the warriors are taking more of a lead now well the thunder are coming back but no the warriors win by about 13 points russ with 38 10 and 8 edwards with 29 to close them out and now we got the minnesota Timberwolves this should be a sweep 2-1 3-1 probably a gentleman sweep 4-1 there we go Anthony Edwards dropping 29 Curry with 28 and we're on to the finals we're either playing the Bulls or the Celtics looks like we're playing the Celtics Braun and Kyrie somehow getting beat by this Celtics team I really have no clue how this Celtics team just beat LeBron and Kyrie this honestly should be an easy win I was gonna say for the Warriors in the finals but they do lose the first game then they lose they're down 2-1 there's no way they should choke to the Boston Celtics all right we're up three two we're gonna hop in the simcast and see if we can close it out it looks like they're gonna be able to and get ant his fourth ring a minute and 30 left they're up 10 yeah they're gonna be able to close this out they win by six stephen curry winning the finals mvp putting up 30.2 points per game let's check what ant did in the closeout ant had 26 kurt or clay with 23 and steph with 18 9 and 13 also four steals ad winning the mvp and um the warriors obviously you know they got the one seed once again westbrook does not even come close this time to ending uh the golden state run and he had a way better team this time too we have paul george carmelo anthony and they somehow get 4-0 sweat still let's check that uh box score curry with 44 and 14 and ant with 31 9 and 2 team and somehow the wizards are going to be matching up against us in the finals uh lebron lost 4-1 to philly and we're playing the washington wizards now it's not a bad wizards team it's john wall brad beal kelly Oubre, marcus morris or that's mark that's markeith morris Otto porter but i mean like th this warriors team right they should have 4-0 sweep them i don't know how they made it out of the uh western or the eastern conference 3-1 bradley beal curry for 43 ant for 
33. I mean, this, this team is just unstoppable. And paired with another superstar, is just, it's just unstoppable, it's seeming like. And in the closeout game of the finals, he had 43, Clay had 37, and Curry had 30. How do you stop this team when there's three guys scoring 30 plus, basically two guys scoring 40? I mean, Clay was three points shy of it. I don't know how the Washington Wizards keep making it out of the Eastern Conference, but they're up 2-0 on the Warriors. So let's not speak so fast. John Wall with 27 in game three, but and let's see if the Warriors can tie the series back up. They do as a 2-2 series. The Warriors after being down 2-0 win three games in a row and just win four games in a row. They're just unstoppable. Step with the finals MVP. Okay, so we are in Brooklyn now. James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Edwards, and Blake Griffin and Nick Claxton are the starting lineup. All right, and Brooklyn did get the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, matching up against the Indiana Pacers in the first round. Now, once again, this is another big three, a really good roster that Anthony Edwards is on. So ring number seven is very possible. He's playing on some very good teams the next couple years. He is going down a little bit in overall already, though. He's kind of digressing a little earlier than, than Kevin Durant did. Is a 2-2 series against Philly. I mean, look Look at this big three though in this game they just won by 30 points Kyrie with 33 Harden with 30 and Anthony Edwards with 30 as well they're up 3-2 on the Philadelphia 76ers and they are making a Eastern Conference Finals Atlanta gets by Washington and now Atlanta is gonna go play Brooklyn Atlanta is up 2-1 on the series now it's a 2-2 series again big game right here Atlanta takes it though and somehow the Kings are in the NBA Finals I don't know what's going on this sim and are the Nets gonna go down to the Atlanta Hawks they brought it back a little bit they're down eight let's see if they can get back in this game i don't think they're going to be able to the nets go down to the atlanta hawks and De'Aaron fox and trey young are facing off in the finals and the sacramento kings somehow win the finals i, I don't know how that just happened